Today, we're going to be answering a P6 question from our community forum. At Plant Academy, every member has access to the community. Here, you can post questions about P6, the courses, our training, and any struggles you're having with work problems with regards to scheduling your P6 or anything like that. So today, we're going straight to the source and we're going to get an answer to a question from one of our users, Brayden, who's asking about durations. So I'm going to send it over to Faraz to answer this question. So we got a question today that, how do I make the duration of project management activity stay after rescheduling the project? Every time I enter the duration or finish date and reschedule the duration goes back to zero. So here, there is a situation where we have an activity that you enter a duration to it and after scheduling it, it goes back to zero. So let's see what's the problem here. As you can see here, we have a project management activity with the original duration of zero. But here where the problem lies, WBS summary. WBS summary accumulates the duration for its WBS whenever you schedule it. So here you can see under the project management WBS, we don't have any other activity. That's why it is accumulating to zero. So let's see how you can fix it. Here you are under the project management. This is the project management activity. Once you cut it, put it out to the project level and then schedule it. So you can see now it just took the project duration overall. Similarly, you can just cut it, paste it under any WBS and then reschedule it. Make sure to reschedule it and then it takes the duration of that particular WBS. We have different work breakdown uh, structure. Wherever you put this activity, it will take the duration of it. And it totally depends on your activity type. If you're changing the activity type, it will not behave the similar way. Like we have activity type finish milestone that has a duration of zero always. We have level of effort activity, which calculates the duration between two different activities. If you link them from start to start and finish to finish. Then we have start milestone, task dependent and resource dependent activity type. Awesome. Thanks for us. Hey, if you guys like this video, feel free to give us a like. And if you enjoy helpful, quick videos like this and want to see more, make sure to subscribe as well. And if you want more info on how to join our community, head over to planacademy.com.